Hey everyone. With the way the world is right now and the social distancing and everything, I haven't been out flying very much. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of work on the Pacer, getting it ready to go, and been thinking a lot about one specific flight I took up in the Brooks Range. I think it's time to show you my gravel bar landing that went a little sideways, quite literally. Luckily, I had a GoPro on the tail show the whole thing. Now I'm going to show you the things that I screwed up on looking back. And hopefully you guys will learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make it yourself. I really don't like voiceovers. I don't feel like my voice is near good enough to be on its own. You need this face to go with it. But fortunately, you're going to have to put up with a little voiceover. So I'm going to show you guys the clip, let you guys see it for yourself without narration to start with. Maybe even a second time. And then I'll stop it a couple of times and show you a couple of key points that the video shows that I didn't know at the time. And take you through my mindset and through my thought processes of what was going on and what I thought was happening. Let's roll that V footage. As you might expect, these mistakes all snowballed and compounded, each one making the next worse. So let's slow this down a bit. Mistake one was made when I misjudged the wind and attempted to land with the tailwind. This caused me to overshoot my mark. Mistake two was not coming around when I recognized I was going too fast. Mistake three was not seeing the rock my left tire was about to bounce off of, veering me towards the water. As soon as the plane veered to the left, I hit full right rudder and as much right brake as I felt I could, but it wasn't enough. I immediately added full power in hopes to get at least the tail flying. Notice the sidewall flex as it turns up on the beach. After looking it over for damage, I splashed some cold river water on my face and calmed my heart rate before departing for home base where a more thorough inspection was conducted. Well, thanks for watching. That GoPro was pretty much brand new and I think it kind of paid for itself in that moment. I didn't know quite what had happened and I probably would have chalked it up to this being a real squirrely short tailed Piper Pacer, uh, but it wasn't. It was my mistake and it was my errors. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit. I know I sure did. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.